An interesting question came in on Measure Slack related to Adobe Target. I thought it'd be quicker to do a video uh, versus typing something out. So the question relates to uh, link tracking uh, and to track links not just on one page but uh, down a funnel um, related to an XT activity. So I'm going to outline an approach that will work for XT, AB, and really any type of activity type within Adobe Target. Um, that's really helpful. It's something that I use a lot. A lot of my clients use it, but it's also something that uh, automatically flows into Adobe Analytics, uh, which is good for those that use A for T and something really, really helpful. So it looks like someone just replied as I'm doing a video. So I've got uh, Adobe Target up here, AB activity, but again, it doesn't really matter if it's XT or AB. So let's just assume the homepage of our blog is uh, page one. So what I like to do is since um, I'm assuming we're, we're changing the links or doing content on these different pages, but whether we're doing that or not, what I like to do is up, update the URL, put something a little bit unique like S equals one, um, so that we know that, okay, on this particular page, S equals one, because people can get to this page outside the test, just like I imagine they can get to your links outside of the test. So then I'll jump over to browse and then I'll actually go to this page and this will be my page too, um, but then let's say I want to track, I'll go back to compose, I'm going to apply the modifications, um, let's say I want to track then the link, the link on the about, so I'll just come here and then I'll do and s equals 2, um, so I'll save that, then I'll go back to browse, I'll go to the about page, and assuming this is page 3, I'll come here, go back to compose, apply the modifications, and then I will, let's say, uh, track the link to the privacy, and I'll edit the link within here, and I'll just do and s, equal, s equals three. So I know if people are getting to these pages outside because there's they're not having the s equals three, so you know you're a member of that particular activity, the fact that you're getting that content. Um, so apply those changes with visual editor or if it's doing form based, but then here in Adobe target, you can, you can leave it Adobe target reporting and then just, uh, configure the conversion to be view to page and then do, you could do URL contains, uh, S equal, uh, oops, I can't type, uh, S equals one. You can add a new, another URL to be S equals two. Uh, but what I like to do, uh, I, I, I try to run everything through A for T because it's so much better. Um, select a particular report so we get that configured. Do, 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 do. Um, but then down here, I don't choose an analytics metric. It'd be kind of a waste because you're telling the reporting to be uh, Adobe Analytics here. So in Analytics Workspace, you have all of the uh, analytics metrics within there. Um, so I just like to do conversion, which is an Adobe target related metric, allows me to use target profiles, uh, any metrics within target. Um, also by choosing or by letting it go into Adobe uh, A for T, the URL parameter tracking is, is within there as well. So you could build a segment uh, for that. So I'm just going to do view to page URL is, or I can do contains and I can do S equals one, uh, add another URL or S equals two, add another URL, um, S equals three. So this, this will get aggregated within, um, as visitors go throughout here. Then that goes into Adobe Analytics. And under Adobe Analytics, that'll be activity conversions. Um, and then you can kind of break it down by page to give you that funnel view. Um, but if you're not using A for T, if you wanted to use Adobe Target, you could build a, ton a funnel out like this. So you could do uh, conversion, view to page, URL contains, and you can do S equals one. Then come down here, add a new metric, um, and then this will be conversion, view to page, URL contains, uh, S equals two. And so you could build, you could have as many of these Adobe target related metrics uh, within and that'll give you a funnel view. It won't port this information into Adobe Analytics. You have to choose Adobe Analytics here. And then at that point you get one single metric from Adobe target to go into analytics as activity conversion. So hopefully that was helpful.